Welcome to Thought for the Day. Our readings today are 1 Samuel chapter 10, Isaiah chapter 54, and Revelation chapters 17 and 18. And our thought today is in a single hour. The symbolic language of the book of Revelation continues to challenge us. Chapters 17 and 18 today describe the dramatic end of the prostitute, or as in the authorised version, it's described as the whore. In chapter 17, John is told, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute. On her forehead was written a name of mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of prostitutes. Chapter 18 ends by telling us, All nations were deceived by your sorcery, and in her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints, and of all who had been slain on the earth. From the 4th century onward, the church, centred on Rome, spread throughout the world, and any who openly disagreed with her were slain. She forced newly discovered peoples, such as those in Central and South America, to accept her distorted version of the teachings of Christ and ways of worship. However, the prostitute depends on the nations for her strength. These are symbolised as a beast with many heads and horns on which she rides. Verse 3. It seems significant that the European Union was established by the Treaty of Rome nearly 70 years ago. As we read on, we learn that time comes when those who have supported her will hate the prostitute. Verse 16. The Treaty of Rome was established to unite Europe and give it financial and political stability. At first, it succeeded marvellously, aided by the collapse of the Soviet Union. But we learn her plagues will come in a single day. Chapter 18 and verse 8. This suddenness is further emphasised in verse 10. You mighty city of Babylon, for in a single hour your judgment has come. This is repeated in verses 17 and 19, with the added implication that the world is suffering financially at this time as trade between nations collapses. True believers will rejoice over her. You saints for God has given judgment for you against her. Our world is entering its most awesome final days, but there is no value in us having a belief that God will act to save the world from self-destruction if we do not have a real relationship with God and Jesus is our Lord. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day. Indeed, today there is a lot for us to ponder upon as we read closely the Word of God. We pray that we have helped in your consideration of God's Word today.